All right, everybody, let's make this creepy eyeball in Touch Designer right now. Let's get started. First, press tab on the keyboard to open the op create dialog and then go to the SOP category. From the SOP category, just click on sphere and drop sphere somewhere in the grid area. Now let's right click on the output of the sphere and click on noise. Drop noise anywhere to the right of the sphere. Now let's right click on the output of the noise operator Go to the comp category and click on geometry and then drop geometry somewhere to the right of your noise. Now we have a sphere, we have some noise and we have a geometry. Press tab on the keyboard to open the op create dialog. And now in the comp category, just click on camera and place the camera somewhere above your geo. Press tab again and now click on light. Drop the light operator somewhere to the right of your camera. Press tab on your keyboard one more time to open the OP Create dialog. This time, let's go to the top category and click on Render. Now drop the Render operator somewhere to the right of your Geo operator. And in the Render operator, click on the Display button so that that shows in the background of Touch Designer. Let's press tab one more time to open the Op Create dialog. Let's go to the Materials category and now click on Fong. And now drop the Fong somewhere below the render operator. Now that we have the Fong placed, we are going to go to Google Images and just search for a texture to apply to the sphere shape that we have in Touch Designer. So just open your web browser, go to Google Images, and search for eyeball texture. And now click on an image file, and then right click on the image that shows up on the right hand side of the screen. Save that image file to your computer. Now drag and drop that image file into Touch Designer. I put the image file somewhere below the Fong in Touch Designer. And now just drag and drop that image file onto the Fong operator until the Fong operator border is green and then drop the image file onto the Fong operator and then click on the color map parameter. And now we should see that the Fong has that image file applied to it. Now we're gonna drag and drop the Fong onto the geometry operator, just like this and then click on the material parameter. Now you can see in the background of Touch Designer that our sphere has our image file applied to it. Now let's right click on the line connecting noise to geo. Click on insert operator, and now click on texture. And drop that texture operator somewhere just to the left of geo. Now you can see that the image file is being applied to our geometry in a better way. Now let's add a new operator in between noise and texture. So just right click on the line connecting noise to texture, click on insert operator, and in the SOP category, just click on attribute create. Now in the parameters for the attribute create operator, we're just going to turn on the toggle switch for compute normals. Now, after we turn on that toggle switch, you should see that the geometry has a much more round appearance to it, which should look quite a bit better than it did before we place that attribute create operator. Now let's just click on the noise operator and in the parameters of the noise operator, let's just change the period to something like 1.5. So we change the period of the noise operator to something around 1.5. Okay, let's do a quick recap of where we are at with our creepy eyeball. First, we are creating a shape using the sphere operator. Then we are adding some noise to our sphere using the noise operator. And then we are using the attribute create operator to compute the normals. And that just basically makes our shape a lot smoother than it would be without this operator. Then we're using the texture operator so that the image file that's covering our sphere is applied to the sphere in a better way. Then we have our Fong, which is allowing us to apply an image file onto our geometry. We have our image file that's feeding into the Fong. We have a camera that is basically observing the geometry and we have a light that is shining onto the geometry. Last but not least, we have a render operator that's using our camera, our light and our geometry to output everything that we've done so far into something that can be exported as a movie file. Now I'm just going to reduce the size of the creepy eyeball by clicking on the geometry operator and in the parameters of the geometry operator, I'm just gonna change the uniform scale parameter and I'm just gonna dial that down to about 0.6 or so. And that simply just reduced the shape of our object so that it doesn't go outside the bounds of our animation. 
And now if you want the eyeball texture to move, just click on the geometry operator. And for the rotate parameter in our geometry operator, just go to the Y value of the rotate parameter or the Y value of that rotate parameter. Just type in abs time dot frame with a capital T. And now the eyeball should be rotating for you. If you want that to rotate more slowly, you can just add divided by five to the end of the abs time dot frame expression. Now let's add a black background to our animation. So I'm just gonna click on the render operator and I'm gonna click on the output of the render operator. And in the top category, just click on transform, place that to the right of our render operator. Now in the parameters for our transform operator, just go to the fourth box of the background color parameter and change that value to one. And then turn on the toggle switch that says comp over background color. Now your transform operator should have a black background. Now turn off the display switch for our render operator and turn on the display switch for our transform operator. So now finally in the background of Touch Designer, you can see that we have our creepy eyeball in a decent size. It's rotating slowly. Now I'm just gonna export the movie file by clicking on the file menu in Touch Designer and then click on export movie. Let's drag and drop the transform operator into the parameter of the export movie dialog, the parameter that says top video. So just drag and drop transform into the top video parameter. Now you should see our animation in the preview screen of our export movie dialog, and then click on the start button. So that's about it to make this creepy eyeball. There's tons of things that you can do after this to make the creepy eyeball even creepier, but I wanted to keep this video pretty basic. So I think we're gonna stop there and call this tutorial done.